Hello Internet, Retro Kevin here. Last video, I showed you how to replace the 72 pin connector in your original NES. Link for that video down in the description. Now today, I'll be showing you how to refurbish your old used connector. So let's head on over to the workbench. Here we have the 72 pin connector pulled out of a NES with the red blinking light issue. The top part here is the area we'll be working on in this video. Let's see if I can get that into focus here. Well, as you can see, I have a few of these that I've been collecting for a while. We'll start by cleaning the connections with some isopropyl alcohol and a lint-free cloth. I stretched the cloth over an old gift card here so we can fit them in between the connections. Now a little bit of alcohol goes a long way, so don't use too much. Now when cleaning, do not move the card sideways or anything. You do not want to bend the pins that way. We'll make sure and get all of them here. Now we'll use a pair of needle nose pliers and a pick for the refurbishing. We'll use the pick to gently remove the top part of the pin from the back of the connector. Careful not to poke yourself with that pick. You may end up bending the pin a little bit in the process of removing it here. As long as it isn't bent too bad, it will not be an issue. Just work your way down the connector until you have all the pins removed. I have one here that I worked on earlier to speed up the process a little bit. Once you got all the pins out, you can start bending the tips. I'll try to get a good shot of the parts that we'll be bending here. You're going to want to bend the end back just a little bit, not too much because then it'll be difficult putting the pins back into place. Now the very end will bend back down just a little bit. Once done with that, we'll slide the pin carefully back. If it doesn't go easy, take the pin back out and try adjusting the end. Now we'll just repeat that process with the rest of the pins.
This is one that I finished before filming. It's hard to see in there, but you'll be able to see the pins are a little closer together now. now. Like I said earlier, the little bends in the back won't be an issue. And there we go. With a little bit of patience and attention to detail, you'll be able to refurbish your old 72 pin connector. I hope you enjoyed watching. And if you really liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, as it will help me and the channel out quite a lot. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.